Well, hello there. So I want to talk about this product. So everybody brags about got to be glue. Well, if you're a gym rat, got to be glue does not work. So today I worked out, I just got back from the gym. Um, and the new product that I am using is Invisibond. So my application was pretty much, I put it on a thin coat, let it dry. And then I put a thicker coat on, but before I did that, I'm sorry, rewind, I put on my stocking cap and I pressed it down onto the thinner, just left the little rim of the thicker in the front, let it dry. And then I pressed on my lace wig, which is my braid wig. And the weight of my braid wig is so heavy that, meaning compared to human hair, that I wanted to make sure that this wasn't going anywhere. Now, if I put on my got to be glue, this bad boy would have already been on the floor and it's happened where I didn't put bobby pins in it. And I don't have bobby pins in it. I don't have anything. It's really secure on there. It's on there. It's not going anywhere. No, my baby hairs took a bow. They laid down. But I just want to tell you guys, it's messy. It comes in different tones. This one is a light brown. But if you're going to the gym or going to the club, the last thing you want to do is try to do like this and it's like that. So, uh, mind you, I was an avid of the lace with glue. And unfortunately, you know, with any product that you use, you have to take your time taking it off. So the way I take mine off is I put a little oil on. Then after I put the oil on, I the wig releases and then I put conditioner on just to soften it and I use rubbing alcohol. So that's what I use to get mines off. But I just wanted to show you guys it does work. It's still on there. And this is after a circuit training, not just regular work training. 